Hey guys, Dr. Matt. We're actually going to do some some work on the stones today. Uh, we're going to do some do some sharpening. Uh, the other day, I got a couple of uh, a gentleman up in the Pacific Northwest sent me a couple really very nice razors. Um, uh, he sent me this Max Sprecher. This is like one of the smaller ones, which is you know he does some really high end stuff. But the one that I wanted to talk about was this one right here. He sent this to me and he told me what the name was. Never heard of it. Never heard of the heard of the guy that made them. Um, nothing. But so he told me a little bit of story and I, and I made some notes here. First off, he told me that the razor, he says, I'm sending you an irreplaceable razor. And I went, irreplaceable. I was like, oh, but when he told me the story, I, I get what it is. First off, he said it's a Jen Sandor razor. All right. And it's, from my understanding, it's a, he's, he's a physician and he thinks he's in Spain. Uh, and he made these, 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 cus these custom razors, which is, this thing's a really, really high end uh, piece. But uh, my understanding is that he recently died. And uh, I mean, within the, within the past few weeks. And that's why he said that it's, that it's irreplaceable. But uh, some unique things about the razor. First off, um, you know, obviously custom, very cool, fit and finish, great. But what this is, if you look close, don't know if you can see, maybe I'll show some, some pictures of it. Um, there's this, this upper part, which is like a Damascus, it's layered, there's lines on it. But as you come down on the lower part, it's a darker steel. Um, what this is, this is, a, this is a cladding, okay? Or a, or a laminated blade. Uh, he called it, first off, uh, he, uh, what, what did he say that it was? Um, a Sumanagashi laminated blade. Um, if you can, if you can see down the, the center, you can see the dark, that's the carbon steel or what's called the, the Tekfu steel. Uh, if I'm mispronouncing this stuff, guys, um, uh, uh, let me know in the comments what that is. But, um, I, I've said in the past that the Damascus, I wasn't a fan of them because of the layered steel. And I felt as those layers cross the edges, uh, it couldn't make for, it couldn't add anything to the to the to the performance of the edge, and in my opinion, uh, could only take away from it. But this, the way this is done, is done like you know some of the knives. It has a cladding on the outside, which is more protective for it, and then it has the the center, which is the steel part, which is the carbon steel, and that would be this. Now, my understanding is that it's extremely hard steel. Uh, you know, the Japanese steel usually is. Um, uh, let's see what else. Oh, uh, so he sent it to me. He said that he tried sharpening it, and he said he took it to a 10K stone, and then he went on a, 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 a pasted strop, or I think it was a nano plate, uh, uh, real fine. And he said he just felt it wasn't as sharp as it could be. Um, so that's why he sent it to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing through its paces uh, and see how it does. And I'll also shave with it, test it, and see what happens there. So, um, yeah, let's do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start on this 1K stone, my Chosera, because I don't know where we're at. Also, what I'm going to do is I need to put a layer of tape on that because it's not my blade. It is some irreplaceable razor and I won't scar it up. Now what I want to do is I'm going to kill the blade kill the edge. Now I know a lot of people give me a hard time about that, but this thing does shave arm hair. It'll do it. Okay. So here's the thing. Now, if I didn't kill the edge and I went and I ran it on the blade and I tested it to see if it did, uh, which still shave arm hair. Well, yeah, of course it would. But my question at that point would be, is it the new edge I put on there that did it or the one that was still existing, meaning, because I don't know how, how many layers of tape. I have one layer of tape on there. What if they use three layers of tape and I'm down on one? It's going to take some, some work to get to the edge, so I'm not going to know if I'm there if I didn't kill the edge first. So very lightly, just kill that. It's not cutting anything now. 
So when that gets back to the point that it cuts my arm hair again, or the tomato, I don't have a tomato, we'll, uh, we'll know that I put it on there. Now I did check the geometry on this thing, it's perfect. This is a really high quality razor. I don't think that I've, I think this is probably like the highest quality razor that I've ever, that I've ever done. Now I can see steel coming off on the stone, so we'll see. Now, had I known where this bevel had set, meaning was there tape on there, no tape, if there was tape, how many layers, I probably could have started maybe like a mid-grit at, at a 5K. But since I don't know, I'm going to start there. All right. What I'm testing here is seeing if, if I, we got to that edge. Okay, so it's still not cutting arm hair. So I haven't gotten to that point yet. Another way that I can check also is I can put it under my scope, but we'll do a functional test first versus just looking at it. But I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to take a look at this. Okay, so I just checked it under the scope, and it's fine. We're there. So what I'm going to do is rinse this slurry off and just give it a few passes on, on clean water. Uh, as you can see, that's what a 1K edge looks like. Kind of rough <laughs> but we're there okay so now that we are to the edge as far as it cutting hair sometimes yeah it cuts sometimes it just got to go a little further than 1k to get it to cut hair efficiently at least for me I know there's guys out there that say they can they can go on their 1k and shave off of it and get a good shave they're they're just better than me. <laughs> All right. This is my 5K Shapton. Now all we're doing is refining the 1K.
Very nice feedback. So now we're going to refine the 5K. And the, 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 the 5K that I just did, if you look at the picture, that's what a 5K looks like. Now what I want you to notice is at the very edge, there's kind of like a, like a, white, a white edge on it. The very, very, very end, it's like a white line at the edge. That means that the edge is very refined. That comes to a serious point. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of each stage here and I'll show them to you as we go, but I'll also put them at the end so you can stare at them all together. And I don't know if you can see the slurry here. It does get dark or darker. I mean, there's some metal coming off and all of the metal that's coming off is from the edge. So because of the, obviously the, the spine is taped, there's no metal coming off there. So this is removing metal. This is making a, a good difference on this. So now what I notice when you sharpen, even when I got it, these, these corners on here are a little bit sharp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and dull them a little bit, take that bite off of them. Yeah, you know what, let me use the, I'm going to use the 1K to do that. This way it won't cut your cheek up. And... From a distance, you can't tell. So now, there's no problem. That back one's still a little bit sharp. I'll remove some of that. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll take and I'll run it again, finish it on the 8K to take off any kind of burr that may have created. So then it'll be nice and soft on your cheek when you say, shave with it and you won't gouge yourself. Yeah, very nice. Good. All right, so that's the 8K. Let's get a picture of that and then we'll go to the finish stone. So what I'm going to do with the finish, I'm going to use my arc stone. I just rest it in my hand and I just like sitting when I do this. Sometimes I'll sit and just listen to music or I don't know, maybe watch, I don't watch TV when I do this, but I just kind of prefer the sitting because it's comfortable. Uh, yeah, so if you look, you can see what the 8K edge looks like. And then we're gonna finish on this surgical arc. 
I'm going to put the timer on for a couple of minutes and we'll see. How it goes. I have a lot of oil on there. <laughs> Can you see that? All right. You know, I have a picture of the edge when I, before I did this, when, when, as he sent it to me. And he did say that he used a, a paste on it. So the edge is very, it looks really good. It'll probably look better than this edge under a microscope. But we'll see how it works. Um, I, just, I just don't know if the edge was fully formed before for him because he said it just didn't seem all that sharp. This thing should be screaming sharp. I do put a lot of oil on here. I know some guys only put just a few drops. I get it swimming in oil. All right, so that was just over two minutes. You know, I want to go, I'm going to go for one more minute. Yes, one more minute, a little over a minute. And the reason that I time it is because how smooth this stone is, you really don't get much in the way of feedback. You know, like other stones, you feel the resistance or whatever. It, it just pretty much stays the same all the time. Um, what I find is if I, if I go from a codicil to this stone and I want to just enhance the edge of the codicil or any other finishing stone, you know, 20 passes is enough because you don't want to, well, I mean, you may want to, but you, you don't, I, I don't want to take and make it a fully Arkansas stone as I'm doing on this. This was from an 8K straight to this, so I make sure that I do enough to fully refine the edge on this stone versus just enhancing it if I'm coming from a codicil or a JNAT or whatever. Ooh, am I not seeing that? Well, Okay, so that's it on that. All right, so what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to take and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of it, see what it looks like, and then I'll strop it. Maybe I'll take a maybe I'll take another picture um, after it's stropped. And that way we can compare it to the before picture because that was obviously a stropped edge. And uh, then I'll take it and test it and shave with it, see how it does. Okay, so you wanna see me strop it. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do the strop. And where I'm gonna start is on my fire hose. 
this thing, if you don't have a fire hose, get a fire hose drop. And I, I pretty much at this point only use my fire hose right off the stone. Um, I have that, I have another uh, linen that I use in the bathroom that I, that I use, uh, you know, every time I shave with this one right off the stone. This one's a little more, uh, I don't know, coarse, if you will. Now, actually off of the, um, the edge from the, from the Arkansas stone, as you can see, um, you know, I like to do a little bit more on here. I'll do at least 30 passes on this, if not 40 to 50, and then I'll go to the leather. I'll go a few more. Okay, now to the leather. This is, um, let me do it from here. That thing hooks on that corner. All right, right there, good, huh? And I'll do the same here. I'll do, you know, 40, 50. All right, so let me take a picture of it and then we'll shave with it. 